Thank you for tuning in to ATL Hood News. I'm your host, Big Greg, baby. Hey, look here. Today on the Celebrity Advocate Show, man, look here. I got some crazy stuff, man. I'm going to title this one here, The Power of the Coochie Call. Hey, Coochie been controlling the world for years, man. I'm talking about getting niggas time, getting, getting niggas killed, and everything under the sun. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But, hey, I want to talk about Sarah Evans dude, man. Trying to run over with a car. <laughs> I said, now, if you mess around and, and a nigga try to run you over with a car, you don't really did something to him. I want y'all to drop y'all comments below and y'all tell me why do y'all think that her dude tried to run over with a car, man? You know, because now, what reasons would somebody run somebody over with a car? Now, what reason for me, if a nigga owe me some money, especially if I've been trying to find him, run around the city trying to find him, he hide from me to a point where the money don't matter to me no more. It's all about the principle. Now, that's when you run a nigga over right there when you see him. You know, simple things like that. You know, hey, I ain't no telling what, what might have happened. You know, she might have tried to get one of them boob jobs and ran the credit card up. Hell, who knows? But something made this man snap to the point where he wanted to put his foot on the gas pedal and crush her like some boxes. So it had to be something. So I don't know. Maybe y'all can help me to figure it out. All right? Check this out. Now, the next clip, we're going to talk about... Britney Spears' ex-husband. Now, now check this out. Now, I was there. Now, I was in the parking lot. I was having one of my partners actually was there. He was a vendor there at her wedding, you know. So, I'm sitting in the parking lot, sitting back, chilling, waiting on him to tell me, you know, to come in, man. And I see this guy over there feeding on the steering wheel, frowning and screaming and like pulling his hair. And I'm like, man, what's going on? So, I rolled out the window. I said, hey, um, you okay? He said, man. I'm not doing too good today, bro. I said, what happened, man? I said, man, my, my wife was in there getting ready to get married, man. All because, man. It's just and because I wasn't long enough, man. I said, wasn't long enough? I said, what, what you mean, um, wasn't long enough, man? I told her I was going to get a penis extension, man. I said, a penis extension? He said, no, I said, a penis extension, man. I said, well, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to you know, get you in an uproar. I'm sorry. I was just actually wanted to make sure that I heard exactly what you said, okay? A penis extension. I said, so she left you because, you know, you weren't long enough, right? He said, yes. You didn't hear me when I said that because I wasn't long enough. And I said, calm down, man. Calm down, man. Look, man, you might need to go home. You know, that's what I told him. So I talked to him and I tried to persuade him much as I could, and he calmed him down. He said, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. He said, what is your name? I said, my name's Greg, man. He said, nice to meet you, man. And I can't even remember what he said. Name. Well, the only thing I know, he said, Britney Spears, ex-husband, that's all I know. Next thing you know, my homeboy, he come back to get me. So I'm walking in and everything, right? Trying to help him out. And we trying to maneuver stuff, trying to get it through the door. Next thing you know, I hear a whole lot of commotion. Everybody turning around, screaming and yelling the police. Next thing you know, it's the guy in the car, you know, her ex-husband. He runs and he jumps and he starts screaming and everything. You know he would belong to me. You know I loved him. Why would you try to marry him when you knew I loved him? And I was like, oh, whoa, okay. Now it makes sense what was going on. You know what I'm saying? He loved the dude who she was getting ready to marry. So, hey, that's what really happened. I don't know what social media is telling y'all, but I was there. I was sitting in the car next door and I heard him. I'm the one who tried to calm him down. And the next clip is about my man, Art Kelly, man. Everybody loves Art Kelly, regardless if he peed on somebody, shitted on somebody. Everybody loves Art Kelly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, they're trying to get this man all this time, right? But this what's killed, this what killed me right here. How can you get this man time if he was helpful and then get one damn day in jail? I'm trying to figure this shit out, you know. And, and, and he had... 12 and 13 year olds in here mansion. Didn't nobody do nothing. The FBI, the DIA, the local police, didn't nobody do SHIT. But y'all want to put Art Kelly in jail, right? For women he was dealing with, young women supposedly, what he was dealing with, right? And their parents went along with it until he stopped paying them. So now y'all want to throw Art Kelly in jail. I'm like this right here, and I'm here to stand up for Art Kelly and say, look, if y'all did not put down Hugh Hefner in prison, free Art Kelly. That's what I'm going to say. Free Art Kelly. That's what I'm going to say. Free Art Kelly. Free Art Kelly. 
Friend, hey, look here. Thank you for tuning in to ATL Hood News. Hey, y'all do us a favor. Drop down, hit the subscription button, subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And hey, look here. If y'all do that for us, you know what I'm going to do? I'll stand up for you. How about that? Peace.